Good morning everyone. This is Amos sir from your school. Hope you are safe in your home. Today I am making this video of your science subject chapter 10 that is information communication technology the new direction of progress. First of all what is information means? It is a facts provided or learn about something or someone. Information comes in various formats and it is all around us. Voice conversation, text, pictures, data, motion pictures or video, multimedia presentation, radio or wireless broadcast, television broadcast, etc. So starting with the ICT. What is ICT? It stands for Information and Communication Technologies. ICT refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications. It is similar to information technology but focuses primarily on communication technologies. This includes the internet, wireless networks, cell phones and other communication mediums. It is a devices, networking, applications and system which facilitate interaction with digital world and in fact you are getting this video through ICT only for example people can communicate in real time with others in different countries using technologies such as instant messaging and video conferencing social networking websites like facebook allow users from all over the world to remain in contact and communicate on a regular basis ICT changed how people work communicate learn and live do you know the devices used in information technology we can find these devices in our day to day life for example cell phone is used for communicating with someone likewise computer or laptop is used for storing information or data now on page 108 of your book there is a table given with some of the ict devices you have to complete that table with your own for example the first device is a computer what is it used for it is used for writing solving math problems watching movies listening to music communicating with other people sending email using the internet or in a research purpose now where it is used for it is used in banks businesses communication defense and military education medical and transportation so what are the benefits of using a computer it increase your productivity connects you to the internet can store vast amounts of information and reduce your waste the rest of the devices in the table you have to complete with your own now moving further we know that the computer which is the most important device for information communication is considered to have gone through five generations since it was first created As you know the first generation computer used during the period 1946 to 1959 During this period the computer named ENIAC was made The full form of ENIAC is electronic numerical integrator and computer ENIAC was the first electronic general purpose computer It contains nearly 18000 vacuum tubes 7200 crystal diodes 1500 relays 70000 resistors 10000 capacitors and it weighed around 30 tons that is the weight of four elephants it occupies around 50 by 30 square feet space any ran continuously and generate 174 kilowatt of heat and thus required its own air conditioning system but today 
we are living with fifth generation computer and it is so small that it fits into a palm of a hand and that computer is your smartphone so moving further let's see working of computer computer is divided into three basic components input unit central processing unit and output unit input unit all types of data information is entered into the computer through this unit or devices example keyboard mouse etc now cpu that is a central processing unit cpu is considered as the brain of the computer it is fabricated in the form of microprocessor cpu performs all types of data processing operations it stores data intermediate results and instructions it controls the operations of all parts of the computer cpu itself has the following three components that is memory unit control unit and alu memory or storage unit this unit can store instructions data and intermediate results control unit this unit controls the operations of all parts of the computer like data transfer from one device to another alu that is arithmetic logic unit function of arithmetic section is to perform arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division function of logic section is to perform logic operations such as comparing selecting matching and merging of data now comes the output unit an output device or a unit is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable form it can be text graphics audio or video some of the output devices are visual display units monitor printer etc now we will see some important components of computer memory memory required to store the data it is further divided into primary memory and secondary memory primary memory it is known as the main memory usually volatile memory data is lost in case power is switched off it is the working memory of the computer faster than secondary memories a computer cannot run without the primary memory it is divided into two sub categories ram and rom ram that is random access memory it is a volatile memory volatile means data is lost as soon as computer is switched off while executing the program the programs and data should be in the main memory thus ram memory plays an important role in execution of the program rom that is read only memory it is a non volatile memory the information stored here can only be read we cannot make changes to the information originally stored here secondary memory these are magnetic and optical memories it is known as the backup memory it is a non volatile memory data is permanently stored even if power is switched off it is used for storage of data in a computer computer may run without the secondary memory it is slower than primary memory its examples are hard disk cd rom dvd now we will see about hardware and software hardware all the physical parts of computer system are called as hardware 
all the devices that we can touch are hardware example monitor printer hard disk mouse etc software software is a set of programs which tell computer how to perform task a program is a sequence of instructions written to solve a particular problem there are two types of software system software and application software system software system software is a software that provides platform to other softwares system software serves as the interface between the hardware and the end users some examples can be operating systems compilers interpreter etc application software application software products are designed to satisfy a particular need of a particular environment application software may consist of a single program such as microsoft notepad for writing and editing a simple text it may also consist of a collection of programs often called as a software package which works together to ac- accomplish a task such as a spreadsheet package some examples are antivirus softwares disk formatting softwares payroll softwares student record softwares inventory management software income tax software railway reservation software microsoft office suite software microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint now we will see some of the applications which we can use for your science exercises on page number 110 the exercise is been given to create a document and write some equation using microsoft word if you are having computer or laptop you can try it at your home on page number 111 the exercise has been given to draw a graph based on numerical information using microsoft excel some of the instruction is given for entering the data to excel sheet just follow that instruction and draw a graph on page number 112 another exercise is given to create a presentation using microsoft powerpoint all this application you had studied in your early classes so it is not difficult for you to perform these exercises there are some other uses of ict rather than prediction collection of data etc information and communication technology has an important role in the world since we are now in the information age era ict has a great impact in our daily lives for example we can read our local newspaper using the online newspaper another example is we still can get connected with our family relatives or colleagues even if we are abroad by using the email whatsapp call conference or video conference ict has become an integral part of everyday life for many people it increases its importance in people's lives and it is expected that this trend will continue to the extent that ict literacy will become a functional requirement for people's work social and personal lives different opportunities in the field of computer yes we have different opportunities in the field of computer software field it is a field to create software like application software software package development operating system utility software etc and to maintain it hardware field it is a field to develop and design the hardware production of hardware hardware assembling testing maintenance repairing etc marketing it is a field for marketing and selling of computer and the related accessories the person who is good sale person and experienced can do great in this field 
CDAC, the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, is an autonomous scientific society of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology of the Government of India. It is a leading institute which conducts research in the field of computers. The first Indian supercomputer named as Param was made with the help from this institute. Param means supreme. This computer can perform 1 billion calculations per second. It is used in many fields like space research, movement in the interior of the earth, research in oil deposits, medicine, metrology, engineering, military, etc. CDEC has also participated in developing the ISCII code for writing different language script that is Indian script code for information interchange. Here we conclude the chapter number 10 named Information Communication Technology The New Direction of Progress. Now you have to complete the exercise given in the page 114. Stay home and stay safe.